Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about the customer section of the admin panel. We're going to go over how to create a customer from the admin account. We're going to go to how to manage your current customers, and we're going to show you how you can see who's online uh, online right now. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for that little bit of white noise in the background. It is over 100 degrees here today, and it is super hot. So even though I have the AC running, I am dying. So I have to have the fan on. I hope it's not too bothersome. I think it's not too loud. Um, but if it is too loud, leave a comment on the video and I will re-record this without the fan on a day that is not so hot. Okay, so first off, we're going to go to Customers, Manage Customers. And here are the customers, all of the customers that have registered to your site. If you notice, you can export them to a CSV. This is really helpful if you're moving your Magento site. Um, let's say you have a new install and you want to have your customer accounts on your other install. Or let's say you're moving from Magento Community to Go or Enterprise or moving from any of the other versions. You can export a CSV and import it in your new version of Magento, or you can modify it to whatever you know format you need it to be on your new site, and you can import it there and have your customers and uh, order history and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's uh, right up here, just CSV export. It's a nice and cool function if you're going to be, you know, moving sites or moving your data. So here's all your customers. Um, it tells when they've uh, joined, um, what website if you have a multiple site. Um, their email, the group, their name, their ID. Let's actually click on this John Doe one, which was created for us by Magento, and we're going to get to see what we can edit here. So if you see this, this is uh, a little bit more of a, you know, more of like a dashboard type thing, lifetime sales. They haven't bought anything, average sales. You can see their recent orders. Of course, there are none. What's in their shopping cart? What's in their wish list? Cool. Okay, account information. So you can actually, you know, put in your um, information here. If you want to, let's say something happened and their email uh, is no longer something they have access to, but they need to change their account information and they can't, you know, recover their password because of that, you could go in here and change their email for them. You could fix any mistakes if somebody's all, this, you know, has all of a sudden has a problem with their account and cannot seem to do it themselves. Um, their address, you can add their address for them. Like I said, let's say somebody calls in and they want to place an order and you want to have it done through your website. Well, you can just do all that in here. I'll show you how to create a new customer in a second. But basically, this is all of their information that you need to see. You know, it's in their shopping cart wish list, uh, you know, their newsletters that they've received, uh, product reviews that they've done, product tags. You can see if a particular user is just sort of like spamming your site or something. Uh, these are the products that John Doe has uh, tagged himself. So that's really cool. Um, let's say, yeah, you could tell a, an account was a spam account because they're doing something like that. You could probably block them or something. Okay, so customers. Um, let's go back to manage customers. So here we have here, um, and you'll notice in our actions, you can subscribe people to new the newsletter here. We want to subscribe everybody. So we could just say um, subscribe everybody to the newsletter, submit. And now everybody's assigned to the or subscribed to the newsletter. Cool. So let's add a customer really quick. Let's click add new customer. And you can say which store they're at. We'll say main store general. Um, it will give them a name. This is going to be not Scott. This is not me. Okay. Okay. Cool. An email. I mean, there's like a billion things. Let's do my Scott at level up. Okay, and notice how the only things that you have to fill in are the email, last name, first name, um, and this stuff up here. You don't have to put in their gender or whatever. If you know this and you want to have it, that's cool. You could have an auto-generated password, or you could just create one. Um, but if you type in here, you know it's not hashed out or anything. Uh, when it, you know it saves into the, the database, it'll be secure. But um, so uh, that's why I'm not going to put a real password in here because. I can't think of one. Um, okay, so you can also add their address here. Notice how you don't have to save their address right now. You can always add it later. They can add it themselves or whatever. So if somebody's doing a call over the phone, you want to fill all this information out. You can create the account, add in their stuff. You've probably already taken their credit card information. Um, so then you can then save this customer. Okay, so I'm not going to add an address because that's you know not necessary right now, but let's click Save Customer. Um, okay, password is not long enough. Okay. 
save customer and now they're going to be in your customer list if this saves okay Okay, so now we have this new Nod Scott, uh, who's a customer on our site. We created them ourselves. They didn't have to do it. Okay, that's neat. So let's check out customer groups. So if you want to keep customers in all sorts of groups, let's say, let's say they have not logged in, general, retail, wholesale, you want to assign specific customers certain prices and stuff like that, you could do that. So let's take our other customer and give them a wholesale account. So this customer, we're going to assign them to, assign to a customer group, and the group is going to be wholesale. So submit. So now this customer is going to see wholesale prices if you have set that up. Let's go back into customer groups and create a new one. So add new customer group. We're going to call this, um, let's say, uh, customer group is going to just be new group. And their tax class, you can set this up. Uh, we don't have any other tax classes set up, so right now it's just re retail customer. Uh, once we get into the tax classes, I'll show you how to set those up. So let's just save this. So we now have a new group that we can assign somebody to. That's cool. So now, uh, notice how I have this site open. I'm on this page. If we go to customers, online customers, it's going to show you who's browsing your site at the moment, right now. Um, I actually have a client who I did a Magento site for who leaves this open almost all day and just refreshes it because they just love seeing who's on their site at the moment. You can see somebody uh, with this IP address, which of course is me, it's a guest right now. If I were to log in under any of these accounts, it would actually give the, um, the login name, the first name, email, all this stuff. So that's really neat. You can see who's on your site right now, IP addresses, um, and you can see what they're doing, okay? So that is how you, manage your customers, um, view them online, basically any of the things you want to be able to do with your customers. Um, once we get into, you know, order placing, we'll place an order with one of our customers and I'll show you how to, you know, go through the invoice process and see those orders later on. But this is how you manage your customers. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video below. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you want to see. Pretty much just anything. And thanks for watching. Bye.